problem is that people are so ignorant in this generation that you have no idea how to determine right and wrong even. Someone came recently, actually two people, with the same question. Could a guy by the name of Ben Shapiro be the next Mashiach? Now Ben Shapiro is a journalist of some kind in regards to specific in regards to politics. He has a well-known uh, YouTube channel with almost a million followers and uh, such and his Facebook and YouTube and all that stuff. He's got a lot of followers uh, and uh, this Ben Shapiro is a, calls himself a Orthodox Jew. He wears a kippah. And, but his main uh, topics are politics. Talks about politics, political position, goes against the left, the liberals, and so on. And uh, has, as far as ethical standpoints, that seem like they have some substance. And some of them he bases it because of his religious beliefs, some of them because of his moral beliefs. For example, he's an advocate of, uh, he's, uh, he's against, I'm sorry, he's against abortion, just like it says in the Torah. He's against abortion. He's spoken about it several times. Uh, and things like that. So it seems like he's got his head screwed on right. Even though he says that he watches movies, even though he spends an overwhelming majority of his time, if not all of his time, dealing with secular issues, he still claims himself to be an Orthodox Jew. So, for the average person who doesn't actually know right and left, when this guy that has a million and a half people following him on the internet says something about Torah, people hold it sometimes in higher regards than if Rav Kanievsky said it. So when he said in an interview that he doesn't really believe in an afterlife like the Torah says because it's not really mentioned literally in the Tanakh and that the whole issue of the Torah is to live a better world here and not necessarily a next world and things about the Mashiach that are against Halakha and many, many other things that are against Halakha. People that don't know Halakha are like, oh yes, that's Judaism. Look, it's a well-spoken, polite, nice young man with a kippah. Just describe Judaism to us in his so-called discussion with an atheist. The reality is that when he talks about politics, you'll notice that he uses a lot of sources. This case that happened this time, this case that happened that time, this book that was written here, this speech that was making there. He used a lot of sources for his speech. He's a smart guy. He's a journalist. He's an analyst. He's a lot of different things. He's very, very well versed when it comes to politics and his political stance and so on. So when he talks about his politics, you see the guy is like a computer. But then when he talks about Torah, nothing. Silence. No sources. No Gemara, no Mishnah. He mentioned the Rambam in passing, but he didn't actually mention where. He just mentioned the Rambam like we mentioned Einstein. Oh, it's, you know, Rambam said. No, he didn't. He didn't say what you said. He actually didn't say what you said. You made it up. But he put his name on it. It's like the Chafetz Chaim. Allah wa shalom. His students one time. Sekvod Arav. We're going to write some chidushim, and your chidushim. He said to them, listen, my chidushim, you don't have to put my name on it. It's okay. My chidushim, you can write, you don't have to put my name on it. Just make sure you don't put my, you don't, you don't put my, you don't have to. But just make sure that your chidushim, you don't put my name on that either. My chidushim, you don't have to put my name on it. If you want to put it there or not, it's fine, no big deal. But your chidushim, definitely don't put my name on them. Why? I don't know your chidushim. I don't know if they're right, they're wrong, they're this or that. People throw names like it's like, oh yeah, the Rambam. and uh, Where? So the problem is that a person that thought he was, you know, 
doing like a, 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 a regular thing, a Kiddush Hashem maybe even, a mitzvah maybe even, by saying, no, Judaism is good, it helps, is this. Little does he know that his ignorance of Judaism made what he said into a Chilul Hashem. Why? Because many people are going to start thinking, oh, this is Judaism, and this Judaism is not so different from Christianity. And he actually compared the two constantly by calling it Judeo-Christian values, as if they're equivalent, as if one is not idolatry. And the reality is that people are foolish enough that at least two, in the last two weeks, have asked me, do you think Ben Shapiro could be the Mashiach? Now, the prerequisite of the Mashiach is to actually know the entire Torah. When you don't even know a simple halakha, that already eliminates you. When you've spent your life going after politicians and politics, that also doesn't help you very much. And he actually said in his interview, I don't have anything against him per se, but he thinks the Mashiach is gonna be a political figure. I mean, this is, this is stupidity at its highest value according to our Torah. With all due respect to Ben Shapiro, he's very, very good at, at, uh, at, his, at his politics, but stay there if you're going to be politics. Don't talk religion, do us all a favor. Because as soon as you speak, anyone that knows even a little bit of Torah knows that you have no idea what you're talking about. And you're causing people to sin. You're saying that the, 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 the Mashiach is going to be a political figure? Are you really serious? Do you realize where the, where the word politician stems from? Do you realize what politicians deal with every single day, that you have to be a bona fide liar in order to be a politician? That a politician cares less about what's right and wrong, but only based on what's going to win and what's going to get votes? And you want the Mashiach to be a liar, a thief, a, a, a criminal? That's what you want our Mashiach to be? Is, is there something wrong with you? But this is modern orthodoxy. This is today's orthodoxy. That means nothing. Why? Because we are a nation that doesn't want to be itself. We are having an identity crisis. We're Jews that don't want to be Jews. We're Jews that don't want to be Jews. So, again, this is nothing personal against anybody personal. I care less for any one of them in, in, individually. I don't know anything about them. But when you take the Torah and you crumble it into a toilet paper, in the name of God, you're a naval b'rshut Torah, according to the Ramban. You're despicable in the name of Torah, with permission of the Torah. Let me go, going back 